The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck! Hello fellow crafters and welcome to Max DM Crafting. The cathedrals, the gothic cathedrals, an impressive fantasy element. The inspiration for this project came to me from the Cathedral of Freiburg in Switzerland, but above all from the iconic Cathedral of Diablo I in Tristram. Such a project only makes sense to exist if it is included within a game campaign. I'll explain. From the point of view of fantasy modeling, it's much easier and more efficient to focus on the aesthetics of the cathedral if it is not used as a playable element. Everything is more compact, solid and uniform. My Dark Cathedral project, on the other hand, was born to be playable on multiple levels. This required an obsessive attention to the design phase. The church has a basement containing the bishop's tomb, which leads directly to a system of underground dungeons, but we will see this later. This ground floor, with the great hall and the altar, is the largest level. Above it, an area containing a study and a refectory, while in the bell tower there is a further level used as a warehouse. With the project in hand, it was easier to use the XPS foam slices to create the spaces and walls. As a support, I used simple cardboard. I arrived at the first version of my cathedral quite quickly, but immediately a series of elements did not fully satisfy me. As I mentioned at the beginning, this project was born to make one of my gaming sessions unique and unforgettable. Cathedral maps with all playable levels existed long before this piece was built. As a dungeon master, I had foreseen, in addition to the classic interior of the cathedral on the ground floor, two other upper levels. The most interesting thing, however, was the access to the underground dungeon, with a very intricate series of rooms and tunnels, up to a sacrifical well which, inspired by the Diablo series, would then lead to the labyrinth in lower level. Prisons, sewers and intricate passages. Fun is guaranteed. The addition of details in such a project is essential. Even the exterior of the cathedral has been enriched with the elements in ruins, while the walls have seen the appearance of the skull works and gothic statues. This project is my first job in which I used the Proxen. You certainly notice a certain inexperience in putting together the various sections of the wall. Brickwork is an alternation between bricks drawn in pen and walls created with a textured pin roll by Greenstuff Ward. At that time, however, I had not yet learned all the secrets of XPS foam, so all surfaces are smooth. Today I always use the aluminum foil technique to increase the rough effect of the bricks. The real spectacular scenery was the addiction of uh, red lighting to give Diablo-style vibes to my players. The 
The entrance door is functional and it is possible to open and close the swing doors thanks to simple pieces of custom jewelry. The coloring process began with a coat of black primer mixed with Mod Podge. Everything was then dry painted with a generous dose of flocking. The basement level features a large play area and shows the stairway coming from the ground floor and the stairway going down. To create a beautiful staircase with a descending effect, take a look at my video in the description box below. The gothic MDF windows you see come from Shifting Lens by J-Boom. Details like that can really take a piece completely to another level. The central nave floor has beautiful interior decorations and the altar space. The batteries and the switch for the red lighting effect are hidden here. The portal was decorated with the individual pieces and the interior flooring was also made by gluing the tiles one by one onto the cardboard at 45 degree angle. The balconies have been sculpted with my phone cutter and the details are endless. The interior is of fundamental importance for the game. And both here and on the upper floor, the floors were created by adding tiles and wooden beams one by one. Today I would certainly have preferred to engrave them on large slices of XPS foam. Note the furniture you see was made following the DMG tutorials. Check the channel of DMG Info. This chimney, very beautiful from an aesthetic point of view, does not have a corresponding fireplace inside. This is because at the time I preferred to use modular fireplaces of the kind also present in HeroQuest. And finally, here is an overview of my set. Epic! Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you want to help me create better and better content, subscribe to Patreon. Tons of exclusive content for you and essential support for me. See you next time and uh, happy crafting!